Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR. I've got a short video here on JTDX. I'm using it with my Alicraft KX2 and DX Lab Suites, Commander and DX Keeper. I'll show you how JTDX logs right into DX Keeper, and there's no need for any other program like JT Alert. I've got the DX Keeper open and DX Commander open. Now I'm opening JTDX and I'll show you the settings. This is all terrific software. It comes with excellent support and it's all free. The DX Lab Suite is free and JTDX is free, of course. JTDX is similar to WSJTX. This is a good alternative to WSJTX, but it doesn't have the mode FT4. So I'm gonna to go to File and Settings, and on the General tab, you'll see that this looks like WSJTX. It's very similar. I'll go through the Radio tab. I'm using DX Lab Suite Commander for the rig. I'm using CAT for push to talk. Data packet for mode and fake it for split operation. I'll hit the test cat and it turns green showing that it's connecting to the radio. Test push to talk and it's working. On the audio tab, I have the USB audio device, which is a Sabrent USB sound card plugged into my laptop. And on the next tab, the sequencing, I don't think anything else has changed there. Transmit macros, I got the defaults in there. In the reporting tab, this is an important tab. I've got prompt me to log QSO. And then the external logbook connection. This is for DX Keeper and that port 52001. And then down here below the UDP server, since I'm not using JT Alert or anything else, any third party program, I don't need any of these checked off. And on the frequencies tab, I don't think I changed anything in there. These are just the default. The notifications tab. I might have changed some colors in there, but this isn't a big deal. You can go through the rest of these tabs on your own. There's nothing really important in here other than what I have on filters because I have a small laptop. I've got checked off show CQ messages only, and that helps because I don't have much memory on this laptop and it is a little bit slow. I won't go through the other tabs. So let's go back to JTDX and you'll see that I have rig control. I'm on 40 meters right now and it's decoding messages. Okay, let's jump over to 20 meters and make a contact. I'll show you what the logging looks like. I've been on 20 and calling CQ, a station came back to me. And I'm going to send him a Roger Roger 73. And then the logging window pops up. I just want to make sure I have the power set correctly. I'm going to click OK. And right as I do that, it logs into DX Keeper. And even on this small laptop, it works pretty well. You can see that it's logged there. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also, tell your friends. 73 and good DX.